I'm Kelly from Just a Taste, and when it comes to leftovers, I'd like to think I'm a bit of a master at reimagining them into delicious new dishes. Today, we are all about cheesy leftover mashed potato pancakes. My one-year-old little guy is obsessed with mashed potatoes. He loves them in every way, shape, or form, and with any kind of flavor or mix-in. So I created this recipe for mashed potato pancakes because it's a great way for me to sneak veggies and protein and cheeses into one of his favorite foods. And not to mention around the holidays, it's always a great idea to have new ways to use leftover mashed potatoes. I'm starting off with my leftover mashed potatoes, and to those, I'm gonna add some sliced scallions. Great, we'll go ahead and save these green parts since we didn't use them for garnish. So in go the scallions. And to help bind our pancakes, one egg. A little bit of flour. And here's your chance to get creative. I'm using some shredded cheddar cheese. You could also at this point add some chopped up cooked bacon, some diced ham, even leftover turkey if it's around the holidays. And then we're gonna give this a nice stir. This is looking good, it's nice and mixed together. And then I'm just gonna use my hands and roll the mixture into balls. Now that I've shaped the mixture into balls, I'm gonna gently flatten them into pancakes. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil to a nonstick pan set over medium heat. Okay. My oil is hot and now I'm gonna dredge the pancakes in some flour so that they don't stick to the pan and they get a nice crispy crust. Get this guy all coated here and then shake off any excess into the pan they go. Then we'll add a few more to the pan, but you wanna make sure you don't overcrowd it so that everybody's got enough room in the hot oil. Let the pancakes cook until they're golden brown. Give them a quick flip. And we'll just let them keep cooking until they're golden brown on the bottom side, and then plate them up with some sour cream. I'm gonna transfer the pancakes to a paper towel lined plate just to soak up any extra oil, and then it's time to plate them and golden brown and crispy. Now it's time for our toppings. Got a little bit of sour cream. You could also use yogurt. Go right on top here. Or applesauce is a favorite of mine too. And then for a little bit of color and oniony flavor, some scallions. And just like that, you've turned yesterday's mashed potatoes into cheesy leftover mashed potato pancakes.